Hello, hello, hello everybody. This is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts. And today I have another small shop haul for you all. Uh, so I have four things, four things, I almost give you five fingers. I have four things that I'm gonna be unboxing for you or four packages that I'm gonna be unboxing for you all today. So the first one comes from us from an Etsy shop, uh, which is Flossom Crafter over on Etsy. And then of course, it wouldn't be a small shop haul without a pen of some type so as you can guess by the shape of this package this is a pen and it's from one of my uh, favorite uh, pen shops this is from uh, Carrie Costello uh, over at Leopard Leatherworks her and her husband have some gorgeous pens that they that they turn out and then of course we've got my uh, package here from DP with sparklers and then I have a special treat for you all underneath this uh, box here that we will get to at the end of the video so we are going to go ahead and break into this box here you like this bracelet here isn't this beautiful so this gorgeous bracelet if you watched one of my previous unboxings comes to us from bev b over from her shop so check out her shop and her beautiful bracelets that she makes so gorgeous love it it's one of my two favorites all right so we're going to break into this one here. Uh, it's a rather large box and has to be large on purpose because of the contents of said box. We'll see if I can do this. Mochi's sitting over in the corner watching me as I open this box because she wants, obviously wants the box. Ooh, sorry for the noise. And now the box is going on the floor. So Mochi can jump into the box which she will do in three, two. Oh, no, nope, she's on the floor. And she's investigating the box, debating the merits of jumping in the box. Tipping, oh, and the cat is in the box. Mochi is now in said box. So, uh, in case you're curious and you're wondering what this beautiful mermaid dragon scale type pattern is this right here is a shoe box for well picture photo album shoe box whatever they call it uh this is a uh, technically it's like a photo box uh you know you can see here but it is for drill storage and i love this pattern this will make the second one that i'll have uh and I got this because I'm kind of overflowing um, the first one that I have a little bit. And I have yet, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to put my special drills in here or if I'm going to just separate out. Because right now I have my rounds and my squares in the same spare drill storage. So I think I'm, I, so I purchased the second one so I can divide it out and have one for rounds and one for squares. So as you open it up, you will see. Uh, and for anybody who's familiar with these, it may look a little bit different and that's on purpose. So the way that they do this uh, over at Flossom Crafter, uh, basically they give you the, um, you can purchase these where you do all the work yourself, where basically you can get all of these labels and you put the labels onto the cardstock yourself. I'm like, I ain't got time for all of that. So I'll wait the few weeks because it does take them a few uh, a few weeks or so, because I ordered this quite a, uh, a couple weeks ago now. Uh, it does take a few weeks before, oh, now she's decided, the cat has decided she wants to jump into the box that I put all of my uh, garbage and my waste in while I am unpacking everything. So she's jumping into that box now. Um, back to this. So uh, it takes them a little bit to put all of like the stickers and the labels onto all of these. Uh, and then they will have like the dividers to divide the different categories, like the 100s, the 200s, the 300s, 4, 5, 6, 700s. And then this stack will go into like 800s. So you can see the, the black foam core will divide the categories uh, and it kind of breaks it all up, all the way up into like the 3800s. Most people, when they get something like this, they have their columns and they'll have it divided kind of like this. Like you'll have two columns. I don't like that because to me it just, I don't like that. So uh, I especially requested, and I did this with my original uh, box. I actually do it 
uh, the other way. And what's really cool is they give you, you can change out how you do it. So you can be like, so I have, now that I've had two of these, so as your size, if you have multiple ones and your drill storage gets larger, you could have a box that's just your, basically your accrue up to 600s and then your 700 to 3800, or you can have one that's just for your rounds and one that's just for your squares. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have one that's going to be rounds and one that's going to be squares. Uh, and I wanted them to be the same because I love this pattern. But back to what I was saying, I'm a little scattered this evening because uh, I'm filming this in the evening. I tend to do film most of my videos later in the evening. But what I do, um, you'll notice this looks a little bit different. I like the shorter columns to work with. So I had them specially cut. Uh, I messaged them and was like, hey, can you do it this way? So they specially cut it for me. So it ends up being um, columns like this. Uh, and I'll grab a couple of, these are some of the extras from uh, some extra cuts that they had from our previous one uh, from my other box. And once they fill out, it like works perfectly. But you'll see here, this is essentially how mine will be. Um, so I'll have four columns and this is just an, will end up being an extra piece, but this is how I lay mine out as opposed to the typical, like lengthwise, I prefer the width wise. To me, it's easier to work with shorter columns than it is to work with the long columns. So that's how I like to do my spare drills, uh, when I have them set up. So this way I can now divide them up and have one for rounds and one for squares. So this was my first, uh, unboxing that I have for you today and I love 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 this pattern um I mean it's such a pretty pattern it's kind of like that dragon scale mermaid pattern it's such pretty colors it's got like my some of my favorite blues and greens in here so it's gorgeous gorgeous colors so that's the first thing that I had for you guys today with my unboxing next we will go into this so of course this is coming to us from leopard leather works you can see right here they actually they are working on their website they do have the website live they don't have their pens up there yet but they are working on their website uh, which will be leopard leather work which you can see right here so you can we'll, i'll put that link on there uh, and let me toss the box into my box. My box of boxes. Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. And look at that isn't she pretty this is a fun shape i haven't had this shape in this style from them yet but that is a gorgeous i love these colors so uh these look at the color it totally matches the box but beautiful beautiful colors uh and i'm like super picky on my multi-placer so i use well all of my my tips so i use uh, everlasting tips so i'll take that tip out and i'll put my everlasting tip in the end and then i will put my metal multi-placer in the other end. But look at that gorgeous, gorgeous swirled green uh, and white. And then into this beautiful pinkish white swirl. That's beautiful, beautiful. And it's like so comfortable in the hand. I love the feel of these pens. They're the smoothest. They're such, such smooth pens, but they're, they're not like, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of your hand, but they're so smooth and silky. Uh, so I have quite a number of their pens and I like this length. I've, uh, they're a little bit shorter so uh, this one's a little bit shorter i think uh most of the pens that i have have been right around the six inch size uh but then i've been having like the more of the recent ones that i've been uh like when i uh have the option to like go put my name out for like i want this blank or whatever it is on their uh facebook group then i will uh, request for like a five inch or five and a quarter inch uh, cut for that slightly shorter size that you see here just because I love that length but this is from leopard leather works beautiful beautiful pen love it love 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 it and now we will break into this box that you see here that looks awfully massive 
and then we will do, 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 do. I pre-staged and opened it with the sticky because it was so sticky but I'm just gonna take the goodies out of it and set them up here and then we can unbox them from there It's mostly big to fit this. That was why it had to be big. And I think that was just extra padding. So really, it, the box just looked like it was super huge, but I, at the end of the day, I didn't really order that much stuff. It just looked like I ordered more than what I did. So of course, DP with sparklers. So you get your branded washi tape, your thank you, uh, wax there and then a uh, sample of Mary Mud and this is one of my favorite scents. I love all things orange. Uh, DP Sparkler Stickler. Oh that's cute. Cute little sparkly bracelet. There's their business card. Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So there is that. And then I ordered, look at that beautiful keychain, the rainbow keychain. I was like, I need a rainbow keychain in my life. So there is that. And then I ordered the <clears throat> Sliverettes pack in all of the colors. So aqua, black diamond, clear, lavender, light blue, light green, original and sapphire so there are the sliverettes boom so I ordered those um i snagged this adorable little unicorn glass cover minder to go with my other unicorn cover minders so i snagged that little guy because he was just too cute to pass up and then i also i have some metallic um sparklers or I have some metallic drills that I had got but they're all squares so I decided I needed a couple round ones so I got metallic silver in rounds uh so I only got a couple of the metallics because I was like what are the colors that I think would be the prettiest or the funnest to use so I got the silver and then I got metallic gold for rounds so I got those two and then I also got a set of dream catcher uh, sparklers. I mean, look at that. Is that not a phenomenal color? Like, look at the colors that that shoots off. Those are beautiful. And then copper for the sparklers. So I'm just like trying to build up because I've found as I've been using the sparklers in uh, some of my kits, like Milagros La Luna, I uh, had a lot of sparklers that I used and I was like, I love these. These are so much fun to use for the sparklers. So now if I place an order with DPU with sparklers, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna throw in a couple different sparklers to slowly build up how many sparklers I have. I have, so that way I have the variety. So if I have, if I'm working on a canvas that I feel like needs some of this like gorgeousness, then I already have it in my stash and I don't have to place an order and then wait for it to get here because everything takes forever to get to me out here in the desert. So I got those two beautiful, beautiful colors of sparklers because, oh, gorgeous. Uh, and then, I got these, let me go ahead and they package everything so fantastically, I love it. Uh, and the, the packaging is all done by uh, Tima's daughter. They do a fantastic job with it. So let me get this opened. They do an amazing job with it. So I thought this was a fantastic little kit. Uh, as a um, do, 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 do. I'll leave this down here because I, I like it whenever I kit up a package or like whenever I'm working on blinging out a canvas and going through my special drills to plan what I want to do with a canvas and I have some canvases that I haven't bling that I haven't even worked on yet that I've already planned what I want to do with the bling so I've pulled the bags of drills with the different colors to set aside because I order the when I'm ordering drills I primarily order the drills 
for the kits that I plan on working on. Uh, I will literally, um, I will, like, I love, that's what I use these little organza bags for. Uh, so I'll be like, oh, hey, if these were, like, say I wanted a canvas that I was only going to bling up and work, like, four different special drills that I was going to do, I would put all four of these special drills, pull them out of my special drill uh, container, and I would put them in this organza bag and put it in, like, a special spot in my, like, a drawer that I would have for, uh, in my special drill storage, but in the special, in the baggie, that way I would know, hey, these are kitted up for this. And I'll put, like, a sticky note in there saying what kit it's for. So that way I've already got them set to a, to the side and I know, and then I don't have to go like hunting for it. So that's what I use these. If you've ever wondered what you could like potentially reuse those for, I, that's what I use them for. So, and then I got this right here, which is half pearl, six millimeter, half pearl uh, color box, which has ABs. Uh, and let me open it up so you can see. Do, 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 do. Oh, here's our little visitor investigating. She heard the rattle. But look at these colors. There's 24 different colors of half pearls. So these are gonna be larger and these are gonna be uh, like some special drills, some like big bling to use on canvases. But I'm like, that's gonna be spectacular to add on to a kit. Do not, no, 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 no. We are not, no, no, Mochi, no. Put the paw down, thank you. She's like, but I want it, mom. She is funny, uh, but look at that. Let me put it so you can actually see. I'm eyeballing her out of the corner of my eyeball. See, look, look at my interloper. But look at that. That is just like um, these colors. So you've got all pretty much all the colors of the rainbow in here that you could use, and it tells you exactly what ones you'd have, uh, like what a B was. You would no. Put the paws down. No baby. She's like, oh, fine. Uh, so it tells you exactly what you'd have. So you, Mochi, stop it. We're gonna put this right over here so you stop playing with that. That is not for Kidder Puss. I had it balanced just right, little cat. I may have to move that on the floor. Or not, not on the floor. I may have to move that on the desk so that way the cat doesn't do it. But you can see exactly what you have in here with all of these colors. So here was this kit that I got. Uh, so you can see there. So that was the, the kit that she had with all of these special drills. And I am going to set these. <sighs> Still going to leave it right there. But you, little muffin butt, my little kidder puss are not allowed to have it. And then the last kit or special package that I got. All right. So then they were doing the boxes that Tima was selling. So this is a round crystal AB box. And inside we have, as I go touching the freshly balanced this, we have 28 bags of crystal ABs. So I have crystals and I have ABs, but oh, there's that. I do not have crystal ABs. So that, and there are 28 different colors in here and they come in this nice handy box. So that way I don't even have to worry about figuring out how I'm going to store these. And there are 28 different colors in here and they're all nice, big, full baggies. So I'm not going to pull out all of the colors. But I'm like, that, they are, and they're rounds, because, you know, uh, two-thirds of my canvases are rounds. So I went with rounds, because uh, most of the ones that I'm going to do bling and everything for are rounds. But I thought those were beautiful, because, like, look at some of these colors. There's this frost crystal, there's, and Mochi's back in a box. And then you have all of these, like, gorgeous, gorgeous, ooh, I love this, like, the shimmer that you have, because... One of the things that I find with crystals is I feel like you lose some of the depth or, or like you lose, they kind of lose some of the feel like, I love the look of an AB and I like crystals, but I feel like at the same time, there's something like, I, I don't like them as much as I like the ABs. So I feel like this is kind of the best of both worlds. So you get some of that depth of a, and like that special look of a crystal, 
but you also get the special shimmer of an AB on there. So there are 28 different colors in here, you guys. 28 different colors. All shades. Mochi's playing with some of her new toys. I went a little hog wild with Prime Day toys for Amazon Prime Day. Uh, I, I think I bought like two, one or two, uh, I think it was like two Amazon or Diamond Art Club Amazon Prime or Amazon exclusive canvases. And so two tiny ones that were on sale for like 20% off. Ooh, this was a beautiful color here. Look at that. So the, 700, the 703, 704, those ones, those greens are like my favorite color. Some of my favorite colors. So look at this crystal AB. Um, but for Prime Day, the majority of my purchases, she's like scooted that box halfway across the floor with her jumping in and out of it. Um, I'll have to go through and put these into a proper uh, are they in order? Yeah, they are in order. They're just in reverse order. So I'll have to go through and reverse their order because I like to go from like highest or lowest to highest and they go from lowest to highest. So I'll reverse them. But look at that beautiful purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. So anyways, 28 crystal ABs. Those are gorgeous. So now I just need to log these into my special drill uh, section of my log book. Uh, which I'll have to do a video for you guys to show you how I have my logbook all set up. And uh, so you can see, but that is fun. So that's what this box is. Special drill storage there. Let me move my scissors out of the way. And then the fun thing um, is this right here. So one of the things that I love, you've heard me say on my sh my shop here, uh, I love me some turtles. So I love my pink flamingos. I love my turtles. Uh, I have a massive turtle collection. Uh, people don't sell a lot of pink flamingos. So I don't have a very big pink flamingo collection. But I love my pink flamingos. But I have a large turtle collection. Especially in like military challenge coins. So look at this super adorable little turtle cover minder in this glorious like shimmery green blue and yes he does shimmer that that much that's the shimmer you get in real life it's so cute so this little guy gets like a front row center on this like oh so cute love him he's adorable super cute he's a little turtle cover minder super adorable Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Love it. So, the little turtle cover minder, he's going to sit right there to help hold the pen in place so the pen doesn't fall. And the last thing, because I told you guys there was something special on here. Um, so, one of the artists that I follow on Instagram, who I think has some adorable images, which would make the cutest, the cutest diamond paintings, uh, is... Uh, she goes by the Instagram, uh, the hashtag, or the Instagram uh, handle, uh, illustratum.sarah, uh, and this, she came out with this coloring book, so you can see her name here, uh, Sarah, uh, Swetchik. I'm very bad when it comes to pronouncing, uh, Hungarian or Polish, uh, names, uh, so when you combine letters, I struggle with that, um, but look at the cuteness of this. Could, could you not see that image in a diamond painting? Would that not be the cutest thing ever? Oh my goodness. I would be snapping that thing up. So, uh, I haven't done any uh, adult coloring books in quite a while. I have all my markers. I have everything. But when I saw that she was coming out with, uh, she had her uh, pre-order on Amazon for her coloring book, I was like, I have to buy it. I have to, this is just too cute. Uh, and it's just the cutest little thing ever uh, because I mean, I love her artwork and I'll link her, her page down below. So here's her stuff. So she's a Polish illustrator. Um, and look at that little axolotl with dragon wings. That's too cute. Uh, so a little bit about her, uh, her spooky cute. She's a Polish illustrator whose spooky cute aesthetics have earned her devoted fans around the world. She's been passionate about illustration since she was a child, losing herself in books with magical stories and pictures. The artist feels a strong connection with nature, which is why her illustrations are full of animals, plants, and fungi. 
and she loves mountain trips and cooking. Sarah is also a cat lover and the proud owner of Bagheera, a cute black kitty who is the main inspiration for her witch cat. She is the creator of Illustratorum Sarah, an Etsy shop and Instagram account, which showcase witchy artwork and stickers. Sarah lives in Krakow, Poland. It's like I said, Polish. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of like a sneak peek of this coloring book. And I recommend anybody who likes adult coloring. I'm like, I need to get back into doing some just because this is the cutest thing ever. And I love these images. And I mean, look, look at the little pumpkins with faces. And I love this cat face. It's like, like sweeping out the little ghosties, the little cat ghosts, which makes it even cuter. Um, and she's got like the little comments. But can you imagine like uh, in the way she does her artwork? Super cute. Look at those axolotls. The little baby axolotls in a fishbowl. Look at that. Like, can you imagine that painted and as a diamond painting, some of these images that she has? Uh, and some of the artwork, uh, I have ordered some of her prints off of her Etsy shop because I just could not pass them up. So I strongly, strongly recommend, strongly recommend that you guys check out her page. Uh, the cutest things ever. She has this whole series of like, uh, little potion bottles like you can see one right there like look at the little potion bottle kitty it's like a whole little world inside uh so they're just the cutest things ever um so i'm not gonna go through all of them look at them it's just like cuteness beyond cuteness so anyways i was too excited about that that i had to showcase it because precious beyond precious Oh my goodness, the light bulb terrariums. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I have to get back into, I have to use my markers and actually get back into the coloring to actually do it because these are just precious. And I could not pass up this book because beyond adorable. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, I could see Mochi doing that. Like, that's totally like a smug cat, just chilling enjoying like with its own little pet like dragon type dragony axolotl -y thing not really an axolotl but like drinking eating a cookie and drinking a glass of wine that's hilariously adorable love it anyways this is spooky the coloring book by sarah swetchik and you can find her over at illustratorium dot sarah on instagram and i will uh, link her or i will include that down below and just like i will for everything else you see here so like i said we have my uh haul that you see here from uh flossom crafter over on etsy and then of course we've got carrie costello and leopard leather works with this gorgeous pen my haul from dp with sparklers i mean look at all of these gorgeous drills i love these like crystal ab's i don't have any crystal ab's prior to this. This is my first set of crystal ABs and I'm super excited to have all of these because uh, I've been really enjoying blinging up paintings and now I have like these half pearls which will be super fun to use to bling up uh, some canvases and I need to use some of these sliverettes as well. And look at these like I love that like this is one of my favorite drills like look at the shimmer shimmer shim shimmy shimmery so fun all right anyways i'll stop like wooing and eyeing I, I just like shiny things uh, i think we all like shiny things uh with this adorable little turtle Ooh, i love me my turtle uh all right and then you come over here to this beautiful and cute beyond belief spooky coloring book anyways that is it for today uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to showcase here. I kind of like showing like my purchases that are not necessarily diamond painting related, um, but still like the things that are, I guess you could still call them like artsy and craftsy, uh, which is kind of why I wanted to make my shop or my, my shop, my, um, that's why my Instagram and my YouTube channel, they're make arts and crafts, not just a diamond painting name because then I can show things like this and it doesn't kind of fall outside the scope of make arts and crafts uh, because I mean that's just too cute I could not pass it up and I mean you guys see the mochlet who's off playing with things and being a hooligan because 
uh, yeah, it's not bedtime yet. She's not hounding me for bed. She'll start hounding me for bed in like the next 15, 20 minutes. She'll come in and meow at me telling me I need to go to bed uh, because she wants to go to bed. You'd think cats are, cats are supposed to be, um, they're not really d nocturnal. They're more di diurnal. Uh, their crepuscle is t uh, t technically, I think, the term. But basically, they, they like that um, that dusk and dawn time frame is when they're the most active. Uh, but yeah, she sleeps all night long. She barely, rarely gets up in the middle of the night. She's a, she's a sleepy cat. She curls up on the bed next to me where she likes my hand to be like right on herself, on her little cat self while she's sleeping. And then when she gets warm, she'll jump off the bed and go climb into her bed, which is on the bookshelf next to my bed, and lay there. And then I usually wake up in the morning with her in the bathroom on the floor, on the rug, staring at me, saying, why aren't you awake yet? You need to come feed me. I need my canned food. I hunger. Uh, and then if I don't get up, she'll come, like, lay on my chest and be like, okay, mom, feed me. But she doesn't meow at me. She just stands. She'll just lay there and stare at me. It's really funny. Anyways, check out these shops and definitely check out Sarah's uh, Etsy and her Instagram to see some beyond adorable images of Bagheera, who is the cutest, cutest little cat ever. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.